Hey family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place I call the crazy house, okay? I want to give a shout out and um, I hope he gets a medal, some type of recognition from the city, even though I know he doesn't ask, he hasn't asked for it and probably wouldn't take it. But um, James Lynch out of Kansas City, Missouri. I really want to thank you for being a good Samaritan. This article was done by Dion Hampton and uh, Doho Duha Madini uh, from the ABC News. Ralph Paul Yarrow, the black teenager who was shot by a homeowner after having rung the wrong doorbell, was motionless and covered in blood when James Lynch found him unconscious. He said, I thought he was dead already. No one deserves to lay there like that. He hasn't even begun to live his life yet. He didn't deserve to get shot. Lynch, 42, had just gotten out of the shower. Uh, when he was getting ready for bed, he heard shots outside. Shouting, I'm sorry. He went over to his kitchen window and saw a boy banging on the door of a nearby home. I heard somebody screaming, help, help, help me, I've been shot, Lynch said, adding that the shout, the shouting was out of place in the normally quiet neighborhood. Lynch, the father of three, said he ran outside, jumped his fence and sprinted through a neighbor's yard across the street to another neighbor's driveway to get Carl. Get Yarl, I'm sorry. His face and arms were covered in blood. It looked as if Yarl had been shot in his head near his eye socket he said lynch's old eagle scout training kicked in which probably saved a young man's life and y'all should love on him because he is what you call a selfless and a sane and rational human being he is human that's that's all you need to know this guy is human okay because there's a lot of things running around here and they are they are not human they're demonic. And so when you come across a human being, they should be honored, they should be respected, revered, and appreciated. He said his old Eagle Scout training kicked in when Yarl suddenly came to. Lynch told him, I'm going to grab your hand real tight. He checked Yarl's wrist for a pulse before he asked him his name and his age and where he went to school. Y'all struggled to respond before he spelled his name. Another neighbor then came over with towels to help stem the bleeding. And she and Lynch waited with Yarl until the paramedics arrived. Yarl, 16, had been trying to pick up, of course, his 11-year-old twin brothers from a friend's house, but had gone to the wrong street address and house. His family's attorney, Lee Merritt and Ben Crump, said he was shot twice after he rang the wrong doorbell. Um, a, uh, a warrant was issued for Andrew Lester, an 85-year-old white man, on charges of first-degree assault and armed criminal action. Merritt said the shot to Yarl's head left him with critical traumatic brain injury. He was also shot in the upper arm. Faith Spoonmore, his aunt, said on a Facebook page that Yarrow had gone to at least three homes before he received any help. Yarrow, a student at Staley High School, loves science, takes mostly college-level courses and plays in the school band. Protests erupted over the weekend with some people saying that Yarrow's race played a role in the situation. Reflecting on Thursday night, Lynch said he doesn't consider himself a hero. I didn't do anything but hold a kid's hand so he wouldn't feel alone. He had just gotten shot twice. He had a hole in the side of his head. That kid is tougher than I am. I can't believe that that happened to that young man. I get it. I get it. 
Um, I have since heard that a young man and a lady, uh, a young lady, a door dashers, uh, were shot at. Um, matter of fact, the person got in his truck and came after they told him they were delivering. So now you sh there was a white girl that pulled up with her friend. She was in the passenger side or the back. She, was a, she wasn't even the driver. But I'm not so sure that the person that shot her could tell what the grace of the people were inside of the car. He just shot. Because we've created a world full of fear. We're operating off fear. Because there's no, we're not operating out of love. Those are the only two constructs you're going to operate off of. Love or fear. There's no in-between. Either you love or you fear. Okay? So what we're hoping now is that people can be aware of these nuts that are sitting behind doors ready to shoot someone black and to give an excuse that they were scared for their life. When we know that that's a lie. It was their racism and their inability to see all of us as human beings that would allow you to go and get a gun and shoot somebody. And for that, you must be punished for the full, to the fullest extent of the law. The man who shot at the Dasher drivers, he needs to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And they said that the police said that there was nothing that they could do about it because they were on his property. That's bull crap. That's bull crap. So those of y'all who are waiting anxiously to shoot somebody, that come, you're so trigger happy. You can't wait to shoot that gun. So when you see somebody black, you feel like that's going to be your out. Because remember, the face of crime has been painted as black people. Even though if I would start doing white news, there's no way in hell the score would mount up to anything when it comes to black people. Okay? I don't even want to go to talk about. That's why I said it's insane. And that's why you know that some people, the elite and the people who set some of these laws are absolutely insane. And the functionary puppets that expect you to follow it are even more crazier. Just think about it. They're the biggest mass murderers all over the world, not just in America. They've stolen people from a land and kidnapped them. First of all, the very presence that I'm on, the fact that I'm over here is a crime. Okay? That's a crime in itself. So now I'm enslaved on a land that's not my own, right? In a different land, but then yet my people get uh, deemed as violent, deemed as criminal, even though the people that brought us over here are the biggest liars and kidnappers and every damn thing. Let's just look at how the, it's just so insane. The hypocrisy and the gaslighting from burning down Wall Street to killing slaves to even owning slaves, burying them, raping them, feeding them to alligators, None of our history in America towards white people leads to that. You you can't you can't give me an instance where a black of uh, group, Panthers, uh, uh, Fred Hampton, otherwise, where we've burned down your whole community. Y'all haven't experienced that yet. But I can name countless of incidents where white people have, uh, you know tore up, uh, revolted, hung, lynched. Well, lynched is hung, but you know what I'm saying? And committed mass atrocities against black people. But yet and still, they got the nerve to put us to face as crime and then be so embarrassed and wicked about their um, history that in Florida, they're trying to cut it out to schools and a lot of places in the South because they can't even deal with their own history. But they, but they want us to deal with the mistreatment that they put on us. That's why I said these people got to be stopped. 
They, it, it, this is this has to be stopped. And if we can't stop it, you don't matter because there's a power, a power certainly higher than ours that will stop this injustice, that will stop this demonic force. Otherwise, it's all going to get sucked in. Because you can't continue to keep playing these race games against people and gaslighting them and making us the face of crime, making us the face of murder. But then it, if I sit up here in a day and don't give you no black stories and uncover all the white mayhem on this in these United States, I guarantee you it'll be much more than black people. Yes. But that's not what the media presents. So these people that don't read at all, that's what they go by. They just go by whatever Fox News say, that's where they at. It is the number one news. So there's a big segment of this population that believe those lies. That's why I'm so glad they got sued. But guess what? The diehard racists are going to think of an excuse why they um, shouldn't have been sued. And how it's not true that uh, no matter what you put present them and show them evidence, that means they're gone. They're, they're gone. And there's a lot of people on this side of the dirt that are just completely out of their minds. I thank God again for James Lynch who found uh, Ralph Yarrow unconscious and tried to help that young man. I appreciate him. You just don't know. I never laid eyes on him, never seen him, but I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you because you didn't have to do that. Because nobody else did. But you were man enough to come out and try to help that boy. Thank you. With that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And tell me what y'all think about him. You think he's a hero? Leave your comments below.